Hello chess lover, welcome to the chess classic study. Today I would like to show you a game played between Harry Nelson Pillsbury and Emmanuel Lasker. Pillsbury showed a fame when he won first major tournament no one had ever done before. Only Capablanca later achieved a success of a similar magnitude in his international debut. Emmanuel Lasker is one of the most famous player of all time. As a youngster, Lasker showed incredible talent at a both chess and a mathematics, and he fulfilled his potential in both fields. Lasker defeated Stainis to become a world champion in 1894. Now let's dive into the game. Pillsbury played d4, Lasker replied with the d5, c4, e6, knight c3, knight to f6. Queen's gambit declined, knight f3, and now it's called the semi tarash defense. Bishop to the g5, here also in nowadays, white replied with the c takes d5. Now he takes a c takes d4, queen takes d4, knight to c6 hitting the queen, but uh, also one possibility which is the bishop e7. Now queen to the h4, bishop e7, show a long castle, queen to the a5, try to keep an eye on a2 e3, bishop to the d7, now king b1, h6, this rook is pinned, so there is no worry about for a white to capture the bishop, now c takes d5, e takes d5, uh, you can't capture, because queen is also hitting, try to save this d4 pawn, so knight to the d4, castle shot, and now, Bishop takes f6 by the white. It looks a tempting. If, let's say, Bishop takes h6, then what happens? If Bishop takes h6, then black is totally safe. G takes h6, Queen takes h6, Knight to the g4, hitting the Queen, Queen to the f4, and the position is equal. Come back to the back. bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6, replied with black. Now it's a white to play and queen is playing queen to the h5 and creating a pin. Now knight takes d4, e takes d4 and bishop to the e6. Here also one tempting variation to play the knight to the e4 because of the fifth rank pin. Let's see this first. Knight to e4. If knight to e4, then black can play bishop takes d4, rook takes d4, queen e1 check, queen to the d1, queen takes d1, rook takes d1, and e takes d4. D takes e4. So that's why black had not, white had not played that knight to the e4. Now come back to the white's move, which is f4. After the f4, f5 is coming let's see rook to the ch and f5 okay pause the video now we have a black to play and find positional move and the move the lasker played is rook to the c3 this move is the start of some real cut and thrust where neither side is willing to go to the defensive. F takes e6. If what happens if uh, white will grab the rook, then rook c8, f takes e6, another piece goes down. Now we have a queen takes e3, bishop to e2, queen b4 check, king to the e1, and now another good move which is the rook to the c1 check, rook takes e1. Bishop takes d4 and the game is over. So that's why you can't capture the rook. So that's why white had played f takes e6. Now rook to the a3. Moving the rook from one attack square to the another created attack. So e takes f7 played a mistake in a difficult position. It would have more sensible to keep a e file closed. Now Rook takes f7, b takes a3, queen b6 check, 
bishop to the b5 an excellent defensive resources the white bishop can be captured with a check but at least the black queen is lured off the attack of a d pawn now queen takes b5 check king to the a1 rook to the c7 now rook to the d2 rook c4 another vital moment has arisen black threatened both bishop takes d4 as well as the rook takes d4 now rook h to the d1 try to save the d4 pawn and now we have a rook c3 this prepare an uh, imagine i have to sacrifice on a3 now queen to the f5 white has a good alternative rook e1 also can play queen c4 king to the b2 which is the mistake he seems to have uh, everything covered, but uh, black next move is killer. Rook to the a3. Now queen a6 check. You can't capture that rook. We will see later. King to the h7. Let's say king to the a3. And now it's uh, over for a white. Queen to the c3. Let's come back. If king will move on the b1, then also it will not gonna work because bishop takes d4 rook takes d4 queen to a2 check king c1 and queen c3 it will be a checkmate so you can't decline this sacrifice king takes a3 now queen c3 check king to the a4 b5 check and the game is nearly over queen c4 check and the checkmate is coming with this bishop to the d8 only move queen to the b6 and bishop takes b6 checkmate Okay, so what we had learned from this game. First, study your own games despite being on the wrong end of the brilliant C. Here, Pillsbury don't just erase the game from his memory. He looked long and hard for an improvement and was ready to unleash, which is the Bishop takes F6 seventh move from the white. Now, second. Often attack is the best form of defense instead of passive resistance to move active. In this position, white had played rook e1 on the 24th move, which is the good. Now third, sacrifice two rook, followed by driving the king up the board up to the board for the checkmate. Is a pleasing way to the win. Is this the this is the learning of the this game? Now I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, if you really want to see any other classic game you can also comment in a comment box thanks for watching